Hi, we're here on Granville Island at Opus Art Supplies. My name is Pierre, and I'm going to give you a little introduction to the framing department here at Opus. Now, the main thing you need to know is that we're do-it-yourself framing. Now, I know that sounds scary, but we're here to help you and to show you how it's done. So we have a large selection of uh, wooden moldings, which range in price, or the metal moldings, which are the most affordable ones. So on this table over here, I've got all my mats and the selection of mats that you can go through. Uh, we have some non-archival mats to archival mats. The archival ones will last you a good 30 years without discoloration. We've got some great samples on the wall here from regular glass to UV glass and even some plexiglass. If you have a large piece, uh, this will keep the weight down. So now that I have the material selected, it's just a case of actually measuring your image. So at this point, I'm just measuring the inside dimensions of what I want cut out in a mat. So this is the mat, so this is what I want to measure out. And the next step is measuring out how wide I want this mat. So once I know these particular numbers, uh, there is a form to fill out. And once you fill out that form, there is a frame form to fill out. But it's not that difficult. We'll show you how it's done. And with that information, we just bring it up to our counter. I plunk it into the computer, send it off to our shop, at which point you come back with your image and we'll set you up on the table and you'll be ready for assembly. So now that I have my frame, I've unwrapped it, I'm going to put it on the table. I've set myself up over here, I've got my white gloves, and I'm going to put the glass right into the frame, just like that, nice and carefully. Uh, the next step, I'm going to prepare the image, uh, which is right here. I've got, I've unwrapped my uh, custom mat, and I'm just going to place it right on top of the image, like this, just to finalize my placement. It's good to see it like this. Now I'm going to stick and put some uh, linen tape, and then just tape it, just from below, like this here, just to hold it on top. So now essentially, this is ready. So I've, you can see that I've attached the piece right here and just let it hang. Uh, that way there's no buckling. If you tape the sides, uh, the piece might buckle with time. So you don't want to do that. So now that this is ready, I will drop it into my frame. Like that. And over here I have uh, my backing. Just put that like so. One of the fun tools we have here is actually a point driver. It's very easy to use. Just put the point driver right against the frame like that. You squeeze this lever and it puts in these flusher points. So now that I've installed my backing, essentially, this is done and ready to go. The last thing I need to do is just wire it up. As you can see, once you've finished assembling your piece at Opus, you're ready to take it home, you can hang it on the wall, invite your friends over, pop the champagne bottle, and show it off. Anyways, I just want to thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed my introduction to framing at Opus. Uh, as you can see, with all the choices that you have, you can create something absolutely beautiful for your piece. Thank you.